maybe a D major scale. Okay, good. Now, we're going to start from D here. We're going to learn how to do ear training. Okay? So we start with the scale. We start on D. We're seeing one. One. And the next one is what? Red. Two. You can go one through seven or do through do if you want to. One or the other, right? I'm not doing this whole thing. Okay. Okay, 
So this is why you want to learn the numbers. Because so, I can, can identify the intervals. Okay. So if I got this interval here. solid sound by itself.
Now, we want to find here. You guys have this one with you today? Start with something you know. 
C, G. And you sing one, three, five. And if you play this chord, it's easy to hear the augmented if you already have this. So make it in your brain, right? So one, three, five, it's one step out to just come augmented, right? So that's how you learn to hear the chords. You hear the major one first. And then augmented is a modification on it. So then I can go to a major again. And then I want to modify the third. What happens when I modify the third? It's minor, right? So they're all based on majors, right? So you should be able to hear the major chords right off the bat. So if I go like this, is that a major or minor chord? Major. Major. What's this? What's this? What's this? See? Because you heard these two notes stay the same, right? Didn't they? The major, here's a major. And then if you go like that, it's not meant, right? These two notes stay the same, don't they? One and three don't, don't change. They're not meant But if I take one and three, take the three. Ah, oh, I've changed the three now. So now it becomes minor. So now if I'm one minor, I can modify the fifth and minor, right? You're playing a different chord than me, which is probably not a good idea right now. Come on, babe. Yeah, see? Pissing people off. Boy, I need you to come back. All the chords. Here's a minor chord. Yeah, I always like to mutter everything on his words. True. Bless you. 
don't even know if you have that. I think you said to bring the intro, so I don't even know it. Mickey, you're too blessed. You're blessed to me. Okay, so I'm going to play this chord. What's impression? Major. What's this one? What about this one? See how the step by step, see how it works? Yeah. Okay. So if I play this chord here, major. Right. Now what chord is that? What's the name of the chord? D major. C E. No, it's not C. D major. D major. What's the technique for finding the chord? Play the major chord. <laughs> what? Yes. G major. That's the major chord, right? Yeah. So let's go back through our time travel machine back to 1974. Alright. How do we learn songs in 1974? By ear. Yeah, how do we do it? What's the technique for learning songs by ear? Um, just mess around with the right? You only read track, right? Yeah. So you heard this, right? Right to it. Yeah. What kind of chord is that? This is a uh, 
and you try to figure out songs, right? Yeah. So you hear, right? And there's nobody helping you while you're doing it, right? That's how. You sit there and hunt and peck until you find what the chord is, right? That's it. Unless you have something to be showing you, everything. Okay? No. Here's another one. Hold on to it 
loud enough to hear it, right? <laughs> Let's go from this one. 
Superman? That's Superman. That's, his, that's what Brad said. He said one and oh, four yeah. is Whitey Marge. One five is Superman. One six is my mom. Are you going to do Appalachian Spring for one four? What the hell? Okay, here's another one. Oh, what's this scale for? Is it minor four? There's four. 
Now, we did triads, right? What's after triads? What's after triads? How many notes are in a triad? know? Three. So what's after three? Five. Five? Four. Four. Four note chords, right? Alright, so what's the first four note chord? Major seven. So, how many ways can you take that major seven and tweak it? What do you do, Greg? Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 we 
call it a Chick Corea chord, right? You heard of Chick Corea? No? Chick Corea is a female in the country. Chick, Chick Corea is a male. Chick Corea. <laughs> this is one of the baddest jazz pianists of all time. It's true. It's true, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. C major 7 plus 5. It's a C major 7. What else can I do to the 5, Andrew? What's that? Can you please curb the conversations while I'm talking down here? Okay. Yeah. What's the C major 7? What can I do plus the 5? Okay. Then what? Well, we're working on the five. Okay. I can sharp the five. Or what else can I do to the five? Ah, great. What's that chord? It's a full on Chick Corea chord. Who else uses that chord? Herbie Hancock, right? Doesn't he? Probably. In third plane, right? We SOP quintet.
six. Raise the six. Raise the six and then becomes a what? Usually, what's that called? A major flat 13, isn't it? Okay. So you got a major 6 going if you change to 5. What can you do to the 5? Major 6. If you raise that 5, it's the same one we just played, right? But it adds a 6 in it. So major, sharp 5. Ooh, that's pretty nasty, huh? Let's go back to major 6. Now let's lower the 5. Five, 
Oh, regular fire sticks? Yes, that's the minor six. Oh, we're back to minor six again, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to our minor seven. What if we fly the five? Yeah. And what's the other name for that chord? Good. Good, good, good. Okay. At least I understand this. Hey, It's like you're, you're watching the cars go by on the freeway. Right? <laughs> okay. So if we got our minor seven chord, we're going five, three, five, five, seven. What happens with the augment? If we augment the five, what does that sound like?